welcome back. You're watching News X with me, Gauri Dwedi. Top story on the show in his address to the nation, Prime Minister Modi said that 27th of March would be marked as a very proud day in the history of India. With its latest space mission, India has now entered the exclusive space club, coming at par with America, Russia, and China. In an entirely indigenous effort, uh, India launched Mission Shakti, an anti-satellite mission that targeted a low-orbit live satellite. Uh, mission Shakti was a difficult one, which was successful within three minutes of its launch. Uh, the Prime Minister also said that Mission Shakti is an important step towards securing India's safety, economic growth and technological advancement. <coughs> In fact, take a look at how this feat was achieved. <coughs> Space defense is crucial and is advanced technology. India has designed anti-satellite missile to neutralize satellites. It is a three-stage BMD interceptor missile. The radar identifies the target and tracks the satellite movement. The missile is launched from the launcher. Traveling at high speeds, the stage separation happens. The ground radars guide the missile in its path. The heat shield separated. The missile locks onto the incoming satellite. It hits the target and neutralizes it successfully. The anti-ballistic missile is crucial technology for the nation. Space defense technology is a very decisive technology and India has achieved this with the new anti-satellite missile technology. The VMD interceptor missile. With this technology, the radars target the satellite in low Earth orbit. The radar sends the command and the missile launches. Missile travels with high speeds. Missile locks onto the target and annihilates the satellite. With this technology, India is number four in the world who has this exclusive technology. India has achieved crucial technology in space defense. BMD interceptor missile. Its, its task is to detect satellites in low Earth orbit and protect the nation from them. Missile lifted off from Orissa coast. Missile hit its target on the Earth Bengal. Technology of the future. BMD Interceptor. News coming in on the broadcast as we speak. Prime Minister Modi counters uh, the opposition charge over his address uh, to the nation. In fact, uh, he's tweeted that. Let's take that full frame. Let's, let's put that tweet out full frame for our viewers to see what exactly is it that Prime Minister Modi has said. He's saying that he's undaunted by the shameful mockery and says it's full credit to our scientists who succeeded in making India a part of an elite group of countries who have a site missile capability and he says undaunted by the shameful mockery of a select few they continue to serve Ma Bharti that is uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi who's tweeting remember uh, several members of the opposition have uh, hit out uh, at uh, the government and the Prime Minister let's get in Ashish Singh uh, who's been tracking the story from the word go Ashish, uh, the Prime Minister has tweeted, the big question is, will this silence the opposition or will this criticism continue? Uh, certainly not. Uh, we are just few weeks ahead of the Lok Sabha election and uh, uh, expect, expecting e either the BJP or the opposition to uh, not bring politics into something that uh, uh, is uh, completely in the strategic national security, foreign and the uh, space domain, refrain from it. Certainly not. Uh, we have, uh, on one hand, the after the announcement of Prime Minister Modi, we had BJP uh, leaders, uh, uh, Defence Minister, Ryan B. Minister, uh, uh, Finance Minister, all of them holding a joint press conference. Then you have Ravi Shankar Prasad, then you have Defence Minister Nimla Sitharaman again holding a separate press conference. So the opposition is going to uh, act or react. Uh, this, this political blame game will uh, continue. And that is why you, uh, uh, we, we having any kind of expectation that 
either the political mileage out of it or uh, from the government side or from the opposition side to discredit the government and give full credit to uh, DRD only uh, is not going to uh, stop anytime soon. But uh, what has been done by Prime Minister Modi is the uh, uh, smart thing here, I would say, politically. He has just tweeted and uh, he is giving full credit to the uh, uh, scientists. And I would quote uh, his uh, uh, five-line uh, tweet that has just been, uh, quote, full credit to our scientists who succeeded in making India a part of an elite group of countries who have uh, 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 anti-satellite missile capability, <laughs> undaunted by the shameful mockery of a select few. They continue to serve... Uh, uh, Ma Bharti. Now, this is something uh, 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 which is uh, after, uh, four hours after Prime Minister uh, Modi announced, and we had uh, this uh, uh, political uh, uh, erupting uh, from the uh, opposition side, trying to blame the government on uh, taking away the credit from the uh, DRDO and the ISRO scientists. Now, Prime Minister Modi is coming out uh, and tweeting this uh, openly is a clear indication that uh, Prime Minister Modi and the government is giving full credit to the uh, uh, scientists who have uh, achieved Mission uh, Shakti. Uh, at the same time, as I mentioned earlier, having any kind of expectation, uh, either from the BJP or from the opposition on this particular uh, political uh, uh, blame game, is not going to stop anytime soon. Sorry? Right. Uh, in fact, stay with us, Ashish. More breaking news coming in as we speak. Uh, former DRDO chief has countered the Congress's claim. V VK Saraswat, who was, remember, the DRDO chief in 2012, has uh, clarified and confirmed saying that uh, there was no nod that came from the UPA government. Uh, uh, the DRDO chief in the UPA era, VK Saraswat, has countered Congress's claims. Let's listen in to what exactly he said here. We had this study, we had our bosses, ministers, national security advisors, we had all प्रेजेंटेशन दिए थे कि हम ये कर सकते हैं हमें इसके इसमें आगे बढ़ने के लिए अनुमति दी जाए पर कारण हमें नहीं मालूम हमने जहां जहां भी इस बारे में बातचीत की हमें इसका कोई पॉजिटिव रिस्पांस नहीं मिला इसलिए ये कार्य उस समय आगे नहीं बढ़ाया जा सका ऑल राइट लेट्स गेट आशीष हु कंटिन्यूज टू बी विद अस ऑन दिस स्टोरी आशीष देयर हैज बीन अ अगली वॉर ऑफ वर्ड्स इन फैक्ट the Congress's uh, era DRDO chief, V.K. Saraswat, was on record saying that this technology was available since 2012. The Congress didn't give a go-ahead. There was lack of political will. Uh, uh, something that the BJP, of course, uh, has been very quick to lap up on, saying that it is the difference in the political will. Uh, that is the stark contrast between UPA and NDA. And two weeks to go before the first phase of polling, a narrative like this, how significant it could be, is something that we'll find out only on the 23rd of May. All right, before we get in, uh, Ashish, let's quickly once again play out that soundbite of VK Saraswat uh, countering what the Congress claims have been. We had this study, we had our bosses, ministers, national security advisors, we had all of them. प्रेजेंटेशन दिए थे कि हम ये कर सकते हैं हमें इसके इसमें आगे बढ़ने के लिए अनुमति दी जाए पर कारण हमें नहीं मालूम हमने जहां जहां भी इस बारे में बातचीत की हमें इसका कोई पॉजिटिव रिस्पांस नहीं मिला इसलिए ये कार्य उस समय आगे नहीं बढ़ाया जा सका आशीष लेट मी ब्रिंग यू इन हियर दैट दिस इज एन अगली वॉर ऑफ वर्ड दैट्स बिन प्लेइंग आउट एंड Something that, of course, has huge political ramifications. The political will to take a decision like this is what BJP says has been a big differentiator between UPA and NDA. <coughs> That's right. See, it's, it's all about uh, calculated uh, risk that uh, any government takes and uh, specifically uh, something that uh, not only just in uh, restricted to one domain of defense or space or uh, foreign affairs, it has a lot of other uh, domains which uh, one needs to calculate and uh, you have multiple ministries and the agencies involved in it. And finally, the decision rests with the uh, head of the uh, state. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the Prime Minister Modi. And when you have these kind of calculated risks <laughs> being taken, this certainly defines not only just the present scenario, but also the future of the country. In this case, we have seen how uh, in the earlier uh, uh, regime of UPA, the decision was not taken uh, for uh, uh, XYZ reasons, uh, maybe because of the... Uh, uh, fear of the international ramifications and the uh, 
reactions that would come. We have seen how it happened in the case of China uh, just a few years ago. And then uh, Prime Minister Modi taking this uh, major uh, bold decision. And uh, uh, it, it, it's less about capabilities and more about decisions. So the decision is, is, is the government decision, is the political decision that has been taken. And as far as the execution is concerned, the capability is concerned, the DRDO now making it out very uh, Clear in public domain, the former DRDO chief uh, uh, Vijay Kumar Saraswat, who is now the member of the Niti Aayog, and uh, he retired as the DRDO chief in 2013. He he was the one uh, who had presented uh, these options and the uh, capabilities to the government, but the government did not uh, go and give a uh, green signal to the DRDO in uh, 2012 when he was the DRDO chief. So now he's making it very clear that the government uh, in 2012 that the UPA government did not take that bold decision and the UPA government has taken it one. At the same time, we have informed our viewers already that it was the uh, uh, decision, green signal coming from Prime Minister Modi a couple of years ago uh, in the first half of 2017. That uh, Remember exactly coinciding with the time when uh, uh, the Doklam incident was taking place, the uh, tension that uh, lasted for months. At that time, when you have Prime Minister Modi taking the bold decision and giving a green signal to DRDO, to uh, go ahead with Mission Shakti is certainly a bold decision, and the result of it is, uh, has now come out. These are not the decisions, uh, the executions that happen overnight. As I mentioned, uh, uh, it takes years to develop, uh, then uh, find out the exact time to execute it, and that's when you send out the clear message to the entire world. And now, finally, the decision uh, that was taken at the government level, the political uh, level, in uh, a couple of years ago, has shown results now in 2019. Right. And, you know, let me ask you this question that uh, the Congress is now, of course, uh, uh, countering what V.K. Saraswat said earlier in the day. Uh, and that, of course, is going to lead to an intense war of words. <laughs> See, uh, this is, uh, is, the, this is uh, the political in uh, nature. You know, when you have uh, uh, until uh, uh, three hours ago, it was completely space, uh, international affairs domain. Now it has become more of a, a domestic politics uh, level where you have the BJP holding back-to-back -back press conferences, trying to hit back at uh, UPA. The UPA is trying to corner uh, the uh, BJP with the allegations that Prime Minister Modi is taking away the entire credit uh, that was uh, achieved by the uh, scientists. But remember, when you have uh, these kind of uh, announcements, the first move being made by Prime Minister Modi, by the BJP, then uh, it seems at this stage... Uh, the opposition is falling exactly in the trap, the political trap uh, of the uh, government, of the uh, BJP. When you have the Congress, the opposition, being uh, compelled to clarify on the earlier decisions, that certainly is an indication that uh, the BJP has won this particular round one of the domestic politics against the uh, opposition uh, Congress. The Congress has now been uh, sent on back, back foot to defend its decisions earlier uh, vis a vis the decision that has been taken by Prime Minister Modi. So if you see the domestic political uh, domain uh, nature, it certainly has put the Congress uh, on back foot and uh, BJP is uh, really and thoroughly dominating as far as this particular uh, domain is concerned and it's bound to have uh, uh, positive uh, outcomes in the political domain, keeping the mind, uh, keeping the mind away. We have just uh, a couple of weeks away, Lok Sabha elections. All right, we leave it there, Rashish. Appreciate you joining us. Let's quickly now take a look at some of those reactions coming in. Aaj 27 March, kuch hi samay purva, Bharat ne ek abhut purva siddhi hansal ki hai. Bharat ne aaj apna naam अंतरिक्ष महाशक्ति स्पेस पावर के रूप में दर्ज करा दिया है अब तक दुनिया के तीन देश अमेरिका रूस और चीन को यह उपलब्धि हासिल थी अब भारत चौथा देश है जिसने आज यह सिद्धि प्राप्त की है सिर्फ तीन मिनट में सफलतापूर्वक यह ऑपरेशन पूरा किया गया है मिशन शक्ति मिशन शक्ति 
यह अत्यंत कठिन ऑपरेशन था जिसमें बहुत ही उच्च कोटि की तकनीकी क्षमता की आवश्यकता थी वैज्ञानिकों द्वारा सभी निर्धारित लक्ष्य और उद्देश्य प्राप्त कर लिए गए हैं हमारे वैज्ञानिकों के लिए विशेष रूप से यह ऐतिहासिक है कि आज उन्होंने वो क्षमता हासिल की है जो विश्व में केवल तीन देशों के पास थी विश्व में ये यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स रशिया और चाइना के पास थी इसके लिए हमारे सभी वैज्ञानिक बधाई के पात्र हैं हमारी जितनी वैज्ञानिक संस्थाएं हैं शोध की संस्थाएं हैं डीआरडीओ जो इसमें लगा था अन्य संस्थाओं जिन्होंने उनकी इस लॉन्च में मदद की है वो विशेष रूप से इस अभिनंदन के पात्र हैं भारत के इस स्पेस ताकत का दुरुपयोग नहीं होगा लेकिन ये सबको बता दिया जाएगा अगर निगाहें गलत होंगी तो कार्रवाई होगी और इसे पूर्णता में देखिए मोदी जी की अगुवाई में भारत दुनिया की एक बड़ी आर्थिक ताकत एक बड़ी डिजिटल ताकत भारतीय सेना और वायुसेना का नया साहसिक ऊंचाइयां और आज भारत के वैज्ञानिकों ने स्पेस के क्षेत्र में एक ऐतिहासिक उपलब्धि प्राप्त की Shakti is a significant landmark for India's space defence capabilities, and to give us an understanding on how important it is, we have astrophysicist Mr. R. C. Kapoor. Sir, how important is this landmark for India and its space defence capabilities? It's a remarkable achievement, and I must say that, and I must congratulate the scientists and engineers of DRDO and ISRO. and it's a uh, it's a great achievement uh, towards self confidence and towards uh, self reliance mm -hmm. because in space uh, there are many satellites uh, india has uh, launched they are uh, in various orbits they have various functions so they are from the point of view of communication and cartography and uh, many other applications so these are assets because without them our life will come to a standstill today so they have to be protected too and besides if there is a rogue satellite which is uh, sort of uh, securing uh, some important information and uh, for example this uh, electronic surveillance and uh, uh, electronic intelligence so that if they are trying to uh, so we have to sort of uh, tackle such a satellite sort of uh, tackle such a satellite so obviously an anti satellite missile is uh, a great achievement uh, towards that purpose and uh, only there are few nations in the world that have this capability india has joined just that uh, you, you you mentioned about rogue satellites whether it's pokhran or in other such secret missions spy satellites are always a worry for india or any country but with this capability of destroying a satellite low earth orbit satellites do you think india now in a way has sent a clear message for any country that wants to snoop on india its nuclear uh, spheres uh, nuclear place or destinations or any other secretive programs see we are a peace loving nation and we have sent a very clear signal so I, uh, your question is answered that way and besides see uh, satellites uh, will always be there we have uh, we are also going to put them in fact nano satellites work as spy satellites too they are within 10 kg weight so they can be placed uh, at some low earth orbit and we have to know where they are and obviously it's a satellite normally uh, which is several meters in dimensions so how do we tackle that so for example either you chase it in its orbit which is say at a uh, speed of 25000 km per hour or you take it head on so whichever uh, is the convenient way we have to finish a satellite that is working against india's interest so uh, obviously this is a great achievement uh, 